Hello, everybody. We've got a surprise live stream. I had a hater on uh, YouTube that's been spewing vile in my threads for a long time now. And I figured I would educate him on live stream to uh, show you what's out there in the world. So why don't you introduce yourself there, Jay? Hey, Jay Berg here. Um, we spoke before a while back. Just um, been watching the markets for a while. Uh, been looking at Hex and have some issues and questions but um cool yeah glad we got got so on you, this. you called so you called me a fraud right oh, i called hex a fraud okay well okay. am we, i a fraud too or just hex yeah let's i mean why don't we start why don't you tell me what hex is maybe i have it all wrong <laughs> so is it common for you to to call things frauds but not understand them and and then figure oh, it out I later um, I don't know why you're making that assumption that I, I don't understand them. Well, um, you called it a fraud, so I figured you'd have reasons for saying that. And then yeah, you could just so, tell me what they are. Okay. Instead of so me, so the just fraud is, yeah, pitch. okay, yeah. So the fraud is, um, <clears throat> the scam is you guys using price to like show how great your project is. All you say is price, price, price up 1300%, up, up 1000, whatever percent. All you talk about is price. And what if, what if I told you that the way you set up the project is deliberately to make the price go up independent of a real price discovery or real price? So the way you have Hex set up, right? I mean, the way you have Hex set up is people have to lock their coins, right? And the supply gets lower and lower, right? So do you understand that business is by definition the designing of systems to accrue values for shareholders? Value, right. Yes. Now, what if, okay, so for example, if IBM had a stock split, we wouldn't uh -huh. be spooting out news articles that the price just, I mean, a reverse stock split. If somebody does a reverse stock split, it's not the price that went up because the supply went down. So the fact that all, all you guys do is push price, 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 and the price is manipulated just to do that. And you know what? I've been watching markets for longer than you have, and I've seen the correlations of all the exchanges, and during massive risk off events in this space, right? All of a sudden hex is not involved in any of the correlations to any of the other prices. So what's so special about hex that it doesn't move? And what's so special is, is that the price is manipulated and then you use the price to get more people in. So you could dump your hex and turn it into Bitcoin. So it's a long-term a long term fraud. That's, that's my take. Okay. Every single thing you just said is wrong. Okay. First, I'm a better trader than you. Okay. Second, That's... a better founder than you. Third, I know more about markets than you do. Fourth, I have seen you post on Twitter the stupidest shit I have ever seen anyone post, literally. And I'll give you an example. Right, but you're you that's post. not what we're debating, what I'm posting. We're debating- I'm talking about your post in regards hex. to Hex. It is totally relevant. Well, I just made a statement you, regarding the price of Hex. So why don't you tell me? You posted that you can't know the price of Hex because it trades on decentralized exchanges. Right. You posted that. Yes. Okay. So you see how a second ago you were just trying to shut me up, but then 10 seconds later, you're like, oh, you're right. Yeah, that's relevant what you were saying. Okay. Yeah. So don't try and shut me up, dude. I know what a good debate looks like. Okay. So I'm going to teach you about fucking markets. I don't need you don't you know to teach shit. You. I know more shit. than you about markets. No, you don't. Yes, okay. I do. How, so have you heard of Uniswap? Yes, I have. All right. Do you know how it works? Do you know how it works? Yes. I'm a fucking okay. expert. You're an expert at Uniswap. Do you yeah. know that Uniswap uh, depends on arbitrage to some centralized exchange for price? No, it doesn't. It's in the white paper. You're just dumb. It's in the white no, paper. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Listen. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's very it's simple. Okay. I'm going to explain Uniswap to you because you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, you don't know what the fuck Uniswap you're talking about. Uniswap is a very simple example. Has yes, no I do. I'm the founder of a $50 Uniswap billion dollar has, cryptocurrency Uniswap has been no retired for 20 years. Uniswap has no price discovery. Holy fuck. I know this is going to be hard for you to get educated, which is how you ended up in the apathetic, unintelligent place that you are now. But if you're quiet for long enough, I can make you smarter. I don't need, I understand you, to make, I don't need you to make works. me smarter. You know. I think I'm smarter than you. So let's just I know you that. do. And I know, I know you, you think you're smarter than me. You and Mensa? Are you a Mensa? I'm a Mensa. Well, so what? I've, not, I've got literal a... scientific proof that I'm smart. Where's yours? You're dumbass, but you think you're smart. You're Dunning-Kruger, right? You know what the Dunning-Kruger effect is? I know what it is, yeah. 
So you say so, you do. So what is it? Yeah. Why don't you just start with. No, you say you, you know shit and you act hard, but you're actually stupid. What is the Dunning-Kruger effect? The Dunning-Kruger effect is that people that aren't smart tend to think they're smarter than they are. Okay. Like, like all your hexagon guys. Yeah. And people that are actually smart tend to think they're not smart. The okay. inverse is you just, well, Let's just talk about Uniswap. I say Uniswap has sure. no price discovery. Yes. You need you need a central you need a limit order book with matching for price discovery. And if let's look at the I'll find you the Uniswap. I'll find you okay. the Uniswap so white paper. Do you understand that Uniswap V3 has limit order book now? Or are you too stupid to know? Oh, yeah, that? where does the match happen? In Uniswap V3, you get to choose the tick at which you trade. And you don't have to spread multiple ticks as you had to on Uniswap V2. In Uniswap V3, you don't have to put liquidity on both sides. On Uniswap V3, you can put liquidity on one side. So as soon as your order fills in Uniswap V3, you can remove your liquidity and your order's filled and you in effect placed a fucking limit order. But your ass is so stupid, you don't know that exists. Furthermore, you don't know the difference between a price oracle and, and all that matters is people buying and selling at a price. The particular mechanism by which they do it, whether it's an X times Y equals K consistent product, constant product market maker, like Uniswap is, or Bancor is, or SushiSwap is, or One Inch Exchange is. The, the only thing that matters is that this person paid this and this person sold for that. And you can capture that logic, you can capture that intelligence with a CLOB central or book or with an automated market maker. Now, here's the difference a CLOB is an easily fucking spoofed, iceberg ordered. You don't know who's really trading. You don't know who's trading with no fees. You don't know who's a market maker. You don't know what other bags they hold. You don't know whether they sold at a loss or bought at a loss. You don't know whether they're going to pull the fucking order before it fills. The shit goes down all the time. It's not on chain. It's not a transparent. And the exchanges that run clubs get hacked all the fucking time. So why doesn't, got why, doesn't the Nasdaq, got hacked. why doesn't the NASDAQ uh, use Uniswap? Because it didn't exist a... when the NASDAQ launched. So, what, so you're th you think the equity markets are now going to move out of out of club into uh, AMMs? To some degree, yeah. The majority of volume for cryptocurrency trading is already in AMMs. The thickest order books in the world with the most liquidity are in uh, AMMs. I now. disagree. I read, I just read a white oh, paper. The fucker, you can Google it, bitch. Let's go look it up. Ready? Need, Let's go. Look go up look what? up your thickest I, Ethereum. I know book. there's. I know Go look up your thickest Ethereum book. Go look up your thickest Ethereum book. Guy that thinks he's smart. You're actual... not smart. You don't know shit about shit. Go find me a thick order book for Ethereum on a club. Let's uh, go find it. Right. Stamp? So I'm going to go to Uniswap yeah. info, and you're going to go to your fucking club. And we're going to yeah. go see what a 10% slippage order does and how many we can get fucking filled. Because you don't okay. know shit about shit, bro. You know nothing. Right. Yeah. You don't know how automated okay. market makers work. Yes. You don't know how price discovery works. You don't know how price discovery works. You need, you right. need, so, a, okay. you need limit so when, orders, matching market orders. This has been studied for... You for have that years. in Uniswap now, you dumb fuck. Okay, when That's did that start? in Uniswap. When did it's that start? there. When you can place start? a limit order in Uniswap. Yeah, you I will show you how to do it on stream. Okay. I will teach you how to use DeFi on stream right now if yeah. you're smart enough to fucking learn. Are you smart enough to learn? I'll take you to the website right now. I'll show you how to do it. Just go to app.uniswap.org. Okay. You think Uniswap doesn't have limit orders. You're a fucking idiot. You're talking about version three. I haven't looked at version three yet. Okay. Oh, shit. Well, oh, my God. It's okay, only been but out for Hex, months. Hex has it's been around, the Hex has been around for crypto, longer than bro. that. Okay, Hex has been around for longer than that. So right, when well, you, Let's keep yeah. score, Okay. okay. You didn't know shit about automated market maker. Yes, I do know shit. I just wrote a white paper about it. You just wrote a white paper. Holy fuck. I'm the one that made Uniswap popular. Hex so was the majority of so volume. Long, what took you so long to get into Bitcoin? For months. What took you so long to get into Bitcoin? What, what were you, what were Bitch, you I've been in Bitcoin about? since fucking Q1 2011. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. I've mined full Bitcoin blocks on my own with no pool and my own fucking GPUs. I was mining Bitcoin when you didn't have to have a fucking fee to set a transaction. Yeah, I know. Who the fuck's yeah. in Bitcoin before me? Who? Me, me. Bullshit. Yeah. What do you look? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Yeah. Well, I was the tell first me. one to tweet the Bitcoin. I was the first one to tweet the Bitcoin ticker symbol. Right. Yeah. And, and what percentage of Bitcoin? And I was coding, high, I was coding high frequency market making uh, for Wall Street at the time. So that's think, why you don't have any money because you lost it all trying to trade. What are you talking about? I lost it all. I bought Bitcoin at 99 cents. What the fuck? Are okay, you dog. About? Well, I got a why million just, dollars. Why are you making shit? Who gives a got? shit about money? Who gives a shit about money? People that invent money from scratch, like Satoshi and myself. Oh, you're Satoshi. People that work all day, every so, day. Okay, so you're saying Hex it? is better than Bitcoin and yes. Ethereum. So why is it? Okay, yes. where does Hex run on Ethereum? Yes. 
So Correct. it's better than Ethereum on Ethereum. That's right. And, and it's yes. uncorrelated to everything else. No, not it's okay. mostly uncorrelated. During it's a risk off better. during a risk off event, why is hex not get sold off? It's just <laughs> hex is special. Yes. Correct. Why, yeah, because why? I designed it why to be special, special and I can explain it specifically to price. you. Tell me besides for price, what makes <clears> hex special? It's more secure than Bitcoin. It has lower fees. It has higher throughput. It has a better community. It has better memes. It has a better domain name. It has better marketing. It has better disclosures. It's more honest about price risk. It talks about the price going down 85 and 95%, which no other cryptocurrency website in the world does. It used to be the highest volume, most traded thing on on-chain exchange. Now some other things have caught up. We made Uniswap popular. Which, which on-chain? Oh, okay. By the way. Yeah. Which what? No, go ahead. Keep going. Yeah. I'm the motherfucker that gave Bitcoiners millions and millions and millions of dollars of free money by letting them mint hex for free. What did you do for Bitcoiners, bitch? What'd you do? What's did you give Bitcoiners different? millions of dollars of free money? No, you uh, fucking didn't. You're a punk. Okay. You're a broke punk that acts smart, that doesn't know shit about shit. And you said you got Bitcoin at a fucking dollar, but you're broke. Why do you say I'm broke? But you're a guy that thinks Why do you say I'm broke? But why are you making rich. shit up? Because I don't Dog, have watches I'm bragging about me? my million dollars of watches. Brag, what do you got? What do you got? Uh, I just bought a house. Oh, yeah. What's your house cost? More than my watches? Probably, yeah. Probably. It's not hard math, dog. Does your house cost more than a million bucks or not? Yeah, of course. Okay, well, then, yay. Congratulations. How much is that of equity and how much is loan? It doesn't matter. Ah, <laughs> you got no equity in your house, you broke motherfucker. You could have bought Hex when it was 1,700 so you think, times cheaper. You think I should have sold? instead, you were flapping you, your fucking you think lips. I sh you think I should have sold all my Bitcoin to, to yes. put it in real estate right now? Is that, is that, no. is that your call? No, I think okay. Bitcoin's going out of 10,000, if yeah. you want to quote me on some shit. Going down to 10,000? Going down to 10,000. When? Yes, before, I think be, Bitcoin's going down to 100,000. Okay, year. so let me ask you this. I Bitcoin, think Bitcoin's going down to 10,000 within the next year. And you think Hex goes up while Bitcoin goes yes. to 10,000? Yes, for sure. Okay. Do you know why? Well, yeah, I want to explain to you why the markets aren't connected. So what's today? So you're saying, so one year from now, June 15th, 2022, you're saying- Bitcoin uh, will have tapped 10,000. Yes. Bitcoin will have tapped 10,000 and Hex yep. would be up. And so you're yep. saying, it, what, Ethereum will decouple too from- No, Bitcoin? Ethereum's coupled. The Ethereum's- So everything's Ethereum down besides Hex. Everything's going didn't. down besides Hex. No, some other shit's decorrelated too. You just wish it wasn't happening. So like, they're, they're, when you- the things that are correlated with each other are correlated because they're tied together by liquidity and order books on their trading pairs. The reason that Ethereum price goes down when Bitcoin price goes down is because of the liquidity in the ETH BTC pair, because they're interchangeable right. with each other. Exactly. So when the value of one thing that is right. tied to another thing goes exactly. down, that tie draws them both down. Exactly. The reason that Hex is decorrelated from the rest of the cryptocurrency market is because the majority of our liquidity is not in BTC pairs is not in Ethereum pairs. The majority of our liquidity is in fucking US dollar pairs. So right. our price goes up and down when people fucking buy or fucking sell okay. Hex. It so doesn't Hex, go up yeah. and down when people buy or sell fucking BTC. Okay. So Hex is the number one coins and, and all the buyers, yes. there's gotta be a lot of people holding Hex and a lot of buyers. Yes. So when these buyers have capitulation, right? They're selling everything price and dips. everything's going down. Every, everyone, yep. they're selling, right? They're the shit's hitting the fan. They're selling everything well, we have besides Hex. But we had hex. this in COVID dip. We had they're this in COVID hex. dip already. But everything we else already is have down. had this experience. We don't need to guess. So you're what saying the humans, the humans it. during capitulation, they decide mm -hmm. we're selling everything besides hex. That's what you're saying. That that's your no. The majority of people that are in hex are in hex heavier than they're in everything else because the price appreciation has forced their portfolio to look like that. Uh, are you going to you start your own chain? Are you going to start your own layer one? Yes. Why don't you start your it's own already, layer one? It's already done. I already did that. What's How dumb are you? Why don't you pay attention? I already have a fork of Ethereum. It already is running on testnet. The I'll main net launch is in like 45 Ethereum. or 60 days. Okay. Yeah, and it comes with all the ERC-20s. So there's going to be 10,000 new coins in the world. You might even find that more interesting than Hex. Why don't you already know that? Why don't you fucking like read my Twitter? You, you, you literally come to my Twitter, talk shit, I, and then I come and educate you. And you could have just known this by reading my Twitter. Because all I do, all when I, when I research Hex, all I see is price. Price, 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 price. Dog, price. then why don't you click the tech specs page that shows you non-price why it's better than Bitcoin? Or yes. why don't you read so, the fucking audits? Or why don't you like, there's so much other shit going on here. You just only notice the price. It's better than Bitcoin. And, and in 45 days from now, you're yes. going to have your own chain. Okay. So maybe, maybe it, 60. Yeah. So you're saying it will be better than Bitcoin once it has its own chain and it's not on no. Ethereum, right? No. Because right now no, it's on Ethereum. It's not related. You don't right. know anything. 
Yeah. Is Tether of is Tether a successful project? Tether, yeah. Okay. Why not? Did Tether only used to run on Omni Protocol? Yes. Did Omni Protocol only used to run on Bitcoin? Okay. Yes. Right. Right. How much volume and how valuable is Omni Protocol? I don't know. Nothing. It's worth yeah. nothing. They right. do six hundred dollars of volume a fucking day. Right. But a multi-billion dollar project ran on them. So explain to me how a wildly successful, more volume than any other coin in crypto, Tether, runs on a coin that's worth nothing. Because the fucking to the abstraction US of it's value, to... yeah. it's, the network isn't what matters. The endpoint or what matters. Who makes more money? Amazon, Netflix, or Comcast? Well, you couldn't get your Amazon and your Netflix to the user unless it went through Comcast, but Comcast makes less money. Because the substrate, the fucking dumb pipe in the middle is worth less than the valuable fucking endpoint that's closer to the money. Okay. And this stratification of value capture exists in all fucking industries. Uh, okay. So this concept that your coin's going to be worth more if you're the fucking layer one is stupid. Because if that were true, Omni would be worth fucking billions instead of Tether. But it's not. So I take your ideas, which are dumb and proven false in the real fucking world, and I show you them and I go, look, your idea is fucking stupid. And here's the proof of why it's fucking stupid. So no, in fact, being a, a layer one fucking coin is not actually what makes a, a fucking value proposition okay, for so people that buy and hold a thing. Right. So hex is gonna. So hex is going to be the uh, hex is going to be the ETH of your new fork. It's going to be a. No, it's, it's not. It's, the fork has absolutely. I am. I have an L one. It is a fork of Ethereum. It comes with all the ERC twenties. The ETH holders are getting free coins if they don't move them within thirty days. They lose them, and they're getting diluted by ten thousand X. And the people it's, that are yeah. going to get the actual majority of supply are going to be the people to sacrifice. Are you gonna, is sacrifice it going to be proof of stake? Is it going to be proof charity? of stake? Proof of stake or proof yes. of work? Proof of stake. Proof of stake. So we already know proof of stake works because we have tons of networks that have been doing it for years and have no problems. That's fine. Okay. So you have proof of stake and it's just going to uh -huh. be, Hex is going to be a coin with proof of stake. Hex is just large another ERC twenty on it. It has absolutely no oh, benefits. Is, so what's going to be the base coin on this new chain then? If Hex it's is going to be called just, Pulse. Oh, Pulse. So a new coin. Yep, that's right. So is Pulse better than Hex or Pulse is just the guys? What's Pulse? Different. It's different. Hex scales with monetizing time. It's the only coin in the world that does it. Whereas Pulse scales with network effect and adoption by other projects. Right. So in Pulse, you have hundreds of different coins that have their sales pitches as to why people want to participate. And then with Hex, you have one sales pitch and they're just different. They scale differently. Yeah. And by the way, you're going to have two Hexes. You're going to have Hex on Ethereum. You're going to have Hex on Pulse. Any of the ERC20s you like. You're gonna have that. I don't like ERC twenties. I don't like any ERC twenties. Yeah. Yeah. You don't like ERC twenties. You must hate money then, huh? No. You I must like, hate I like money. I like, like Bitcoin. Bitcoin's money. What's it like getting outperformed by everything, Mister Trader Bro? Outperform? What's it like getting your chart shit on by everything? How's, yes. Bitcoin has eight ass compared to everything else this bull run. Everything else outperformed Bitcoin. What's it like being a loser? Oh, so, okay. A big loser, right? Tell me what it's like. Yeah, I've had Bitcoin for longer than you. I don't believe you're you, you buy a dollar bullshit. Do you have any Bitcoin? It's yeah. Well, sadly, I do have some Bitcoin, and I don't want it. I hate it. So, no, well, I'll take your Bitcoin. You'll try. Come meet me in the market. See how much of my Bitcoin you get, Mister Trader Guy. So where can I? Show my coin's up seventeen hundred x before staking, thirty four hundred x with staking. All no you have is price. Trading. It does price doesn't matter. No, no. I also have hundred percent uptime. I also have flawless function. I also have three hundred thousand BTC where can I short minted it for free in the contract. Where can I show you have three hundred thousand exchange? Shitloads of them. There's shitloads. It's on HitBTC. One? It's on YoBit. It's on BitMart. It's on fucking thirty different centralized I exchanges, see, uh, which yeah. I don't promote because I, I don't like centralized exchanges. Right. So go to HitBit. Go to YoBit. Because you can't manipulate them. Right. What are you talking about? Anybody can manipulate the price by clicking the green or red sell button. What the fuck are you talking about? You, have to you sell. think regular people ordering is manipulation. You understand you can see who's buying hex up, right? I can see with my eyes who's buying the hex price up. There's a couple ETH Genesis wheels that have 100,000 fucking Ethereum buying the price up. And you're going to say they're me? I was busy shit talking Ethereum when these motherfuckers had huge bags I'm not of saying it. anything it about Ethereum. Me. I'm saying hex. So, yeah, okay. So, I'm you're going to show me, show me a and deep you're liquid. Me I'm manipulating I want to see it. I'm saying you're manipulating the centralized prices to feed the Uniswap to make it look like the price is going up, and then you just pitch price, Bro, price, price. The vast majority of volume is on Uniswap. You don't have to manipulate some other price oracle. Uniswap is the price oracle. Uniswap is the price discovery. 
You don't ice? need to tie Uniswap okay. to a fake shitty thing that goes down with iceberg orders. So when is, it has the best uptime in the universe. When is Hex gonna when is Hex gonna start trading in like units and not 0. 0.000.0962 to right? You're like, so dumb. Do you, you do you know what hex costs right now? Do you even know its price? 92 cents. 0. 0.092. It's just called nine cents, man. It's about yeah. 10 cents yesterday. Right. Can you explain to me why that's not a good unit for you? Is your unit bias that fucked up? The 10 yeah, cents because you have the price. hex BTC price is 0. 0.000002. So and you, you know, think the majority of users you know care anything about, about the BTC no, ratio? No, no, that's why, because they don't know this, but you know there's a minimum tick size in all these exchanges when you have so many zeros beforehand. A no, tick you're is so a huge move. Yeah. Do you even trade alts, bro? You don't even know what you're talking about. You're talking Satoshis, okay? And Hex is like 230 or 240 or 300 fucking Satoshis. It's an absolutely fine amount of resolution. There's 300 ticks there, bro. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're basically like a cargo cult. You're like an African guy in a fucking island that saw some airplanes landing and dropping shit off. And if you bought, bro, fucking made a wooden looking airplane, you're literally, somehow saying, that, cargo you're literally saying that your Hex is, well, you know, a year from now, your, your Hex is the best coin out there yes. because- you copied Bitcoin's blockchain and you what? forked, well, you copied, I mean, Satoshi's design of blockchain, right? No, 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 no. There's, there's no blocks. There's no proof of work. There's no proof of stake. Holy shit. Okay. You Look, don't use Nakamura consensus? Bitcoin is, Bitcoin is a system that inflates for security. It is not deflationary. It is inflationary. It went from zero coins to 19 million coins by hyperinflating. The rate of hyperinflation decreased by half every four years. Yet, in the beginning, Satoshi owned the vast majority of coins. Bitcoin has had two inflation bugs where anyone could have minted as many free coins as they wanted. One wow. time, someone did, and yeah. they had to roll the chain back. Someone okay. minted a few billion extra yeah. free fucking Bitcoin in 2010. Okay. Oops. And then a Bitcoin cash developer found another inflation bug where anyone could have minted as many free Bitcoin as they wanted to about two fucking years ago. Mm -hmm. Bitcoin has no security audits. Hex does. Bitcoin has no economics audits. Hex does. Bitcoin risks consensus failure every single time they upgrade their nodes, like this new taproot thing. Maybe this new taproot thing makes it so that anyone can mint as many free Bitcoin as they wanted, just like the maybe, last fucking upgrade they did. Maybe The last upgrade they did introduced that fucking bug. Maybe not last, maybe two upgrades ago. So Bitcoin is a spaghetti code, non-modular, doesn't even have a fucking spec, doesn't have bug bounties, doesn't have fucking audits, but you think it's good software because you don't know shit about shit, which is weird for a guy that's supposed to be a fucking dev. You're a dev, Weird, right? weird. So like- yeah, I, Weird how you don't know yeah, shit about threat models. Weird, so I've been predicting the yeah. price of Bitcoin from the beginning correctly. Oh, let's right. compare price predictions, right. bro. I'm the right. guy that called the 20K Christmas from 4K months ahead of time. I'm the guy that called 60K Bitcoin on stage in Malta two fucking years ago. Yeah. I'm the guy that called the top. Why would you if it's such a scam? Top. Why would you if it's such a shitty project and a scam? Why, why, why would it even go up to 20,000? Why is it at 30,000 right now? So I, you're, I'm pretty sure we're at 40,000 now, you stupid fuck. Yeah. You're so stupid. You don't even know the Bitcoin price. You're so fucking stupid. Okay. How stupid are you, dude? Yeah. You don't even know the fucking Bitcoin I'm price. A little smarter what than is your wrong shirt. with your brain? I'm a little smarter than your shirt. Dog, you don't even know the fucking Bitcoin price. What oh, is wrong God. with your brain, oh, bro? God. Yeah. You have mental problems, man. Right. The actual question, though. Do you have mental illness? Because mm -hmm. if you do, I'll be, I'll be chill with you. I will, I will stop being hard on you. If you admit you have mental health. You're not being hard on me, dude. You're okay. fucking worse, Why don't you man. know the Bitcoin price? I meant the 40000 I said 30000 you, you got you're so, okay. you're so low level, okay. man. Come sure. on. You you're just so accidentally quoted the bottom, you stupid idiot. That's not a thing you could accidentally fucking quote. 30 was the bottom. You're so dumb, dude. I just, I don't even know why I'm speaking to you. You don't have any followers. You have a thousand fucking followers. Yeah. Well. So tell me more. So when people are buying Lamborghinis with their fucking hex games, I want you to explain the scam to me better. Because in my experience, scams this, have fucking victims and they cry really loud. The victims are the people. The victims are the they people. They scream really loud. The people buying mm -hmm. because they see all the, the, the mentions about oh, the how price, the price, the price, price, okay. price, price, price. Yeah, nobody likes price. Okay. How many X is Bitcoin up from a penny? Uh, Four million, bitch. But I just understand math and you don't. So I'm not like allergic to saying Bitcoin's up 4 yeah. million X because it's up 4 million X. Bitcoin's up 4 million X. Does that make you want to cry? Does that make Bitcoin a scam? Is Bitcoin a scam because it's up 4 million no, X? No, if, if we search, if someone searched for Bitcoin and all they ever see is that it's up 4 million X and nothing else. 
right? Dog, have you seen the Bitcoin advertisements? I don't know where the fuck you're reading your Bitcoin ads, but they seem pretty shilly to just me. Just do a search. And they seem Google to talk about hex, price appreciation to me. Just do a search me. on Google for hex coin, and the first thing you see is price. Oh, so let me get this right. Hex, hex a speculative a, instrument designed to go up in value, should feel designed, bad oh, there about you go. being you a speculative it. instrument it's designed, designed to, to go, go up, up in value. value. So if it's yes, designed correct. to go up in value, yes. then stop. Yes. Right. Just like but every other, business is designed to generate value for shareholders. Designed. So when you talk about price, comparing it to other coins that are not designed to go up, other coins, what coins, fucking coins to, not designed to go up? That's not a stable coin. Tell me. They're designed for price discovery. They're designed to go up if there's utility. This is, they're designed to go up if people buy it. It's not just designed to go up by locking up the coins. So you think when these people design these coins like Satoshi, you think when Satoshi was designing his fucking coin, yeah, he, he didn't was, put the halvening that drops the inflation in half every four years to make the price go up? You don't do think that? Price because, up. bitch, I could literally show you where he says it's to make a fucking positive reinforcement loop to make the price go up, you stupid motherfucker. Fucking Satoshi fucking said he wanted a fucking price to go up, which is why he put Satoshi the four years in there. Yeah, Satoshi was designed so to share electronic dude. cash. And he did self, he solved double spends. That's what he did. He was trying to solve peer to peer electronic cash. Hey, he did, it. did you yeah. know that the happening isn't in the fucking white paper? Did you know that cutting the supply inflation down in half every four years isn't in the white paper? Did you know that the code was written before the white paper? Dude, Man, I don't think you're a dev and I don't think you're a trader. I think you're a fucking cosplay tard, bro, because you don't know anything about anything. Yeah, I know. You, I, I, I think anything. you're actually just fucking pretending. I haven't um, heard a single smart thing come out of your mouth. Okay. Except you know what the, the phrase central limit order book means, I guess. That's the only smart thing I've heard you say. I wrote a central limit order book from scratch. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, I coded it in C++. It's online. Okay. It's on GitHub. Yeah. How's your memory management, dog? Good, good. Doing good garbage collection? No. Good luck with your C++. I hope it's real memory safe, bro. I hope you don't overflow. Yeah, it is. It is. I've been yeah. doing it for 30 years. Yeah. Yo. It, anyway, so look. You yeah. talk shit. You acted hard. Thank God you actually got on the stream because you was a beautiful bitch dude, there trying dude, to avoid just, it. So I give you credit for that. You know what? You all the, got, all the, the hexagons stream. are going to get crushed because of when? what you what you're doing, and when? it's it's sad. I don't know. It's, it's the highest take... depreciating asset in the history of mankind. Your shit talking. It's the fake. highest depreciating it's asset fake. in the history of it's mankind. Fake. It's so the fake. Lambos I see people buying are fake though. Who's buying? And Lambos? the houses that are getting paid off. Overwatch Partners has a fully maxed out seven hundred fifty thousand dollar Lamborghini Aventador. He just bought okay. another car that I'm not supposed right. to tell anyone so, about. So just give me one exchange where where there's there's hit BTC, yo bit. Where there's you liquid, want central limit order book? Liquid Bitmart. central limit there order you go. book. Yeah, Bitmart. I mean, look, dude, I hate central book. I like I hate centralized exchanges. So if you want to go to Bitmart or Yo Bit or hit BTC, I know that there's liquidity there on the BTC pair. Are you interested but you're in, gonna find way more liquidity just you know the problem your with, BTC. Uh, do you know the problem with central limit order books? Do you know the problem with central limit order books on DEXs? Front running There's a lot. Front running Latency minor extracted value. Yeah, my, minor extracted value is te terrible, but I can tell you how you fight MEV if you want to get smart with it. Yeah, I just wrote a white paper. You want to talk about MEV. flashbots? Not only that, yeah, I know all about flashbots. Okay. I really write, yeah, I have a patent to solve it. I actually have a patent to solve it by in the patent office. I that was sounds very open source, bro. That sounds very cypherpunk. And, Brent, I'm glad you got that patent. Okay, very good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, just smacking you all over this place, dog. Yeah, I was the first to tweet I'm the Bitcoin ticker you. symbol. I have a patent. I solve central limit order books on DEXs. Okay. Okay. So you're <laughs> you're here telling me that I don't know anything. Okay. And you just what laughing. I know is that you could have quit your job and right. bought hex and you'd be a happy person now instead of a hateful, spiteful person pretending to know a lot about things. But actually, you're like that gif of a of a crying face covered by a mask of a happy face. That's yeah. your ass. You're very you're literally unhappy. you're literally sitting here saying that you built a, a coin that's better than all other coins. And you're, you're well, sitting it depends on what that. you want to do. If you want to do anonymity, my shit's not better. Monero's better. Tornado cash is better. If you want anonymity, my shit is not better. If you want to do fucking, I mean, Hex is not a platform. So if you want to do Turing it's complete computation and do NFTs it's, and shit, it's, it's, it's not for coin, that. Right? It's exactly. just the coin. So and Pulse is different. Pulse addresses all that other shit. You want NFTs? You're getting... Infinite new NFTs on Pulse. You're getting a How, copy of all the other NFTs. Have fun. So by you, by yeah. you, so now there'll be two hexes, one on Pulse, yes. one on Ethereum, and yep. one, and they both have value, right? I, I, here's the how thing. many, how many times can I you don't, do that? Can you keep forking and just keep creating value out of thin air, like forever? No, I think you, you, I think that you hit diminishing returns. The, see, the thing is, like, in the real world, the only thing that matters is goods and services. All of this accounting and speculation and shit, it is, it is just 
a way to enhance and make more easy the creation and distribution of goods and services. So cryptocurrencies are effective because they reduce counterparty risk if you're using them right, which most people do not. Most people leave their coins on exchange. That's the opposite of reducing counterparty risk. Most people use a fucking uh, central limit order book. Not your keys, not your coins. Most people use uh, projects that have admin keys like Matic. Matic has an admin key. They can take all $7 billion deposited in it whenever they want. Maybe there's a 24 hour time delay, maybe, but they can just take all the money. That's the opposite of why crypto was invented. So if you're doing something in crypto that has admin keys or middlemen, you're doing the opposite of why crypto was invented. Yeah, I understand. So in, if you want to make the world a better place, you want things to be more efficient, have better hours, have less overhead. And that's mostly what cryptocurrency does. Now, sometimes it stops working when the chains fill up and all chains fill up. There's infinite demand for free storage. So you cannot give free transaction space and storage forever. You can't. There is a cap to how much you can give. You will run out of hard drives, period. If, I mean, if I mean, you I, just want to be honest, you could just say something like, mm -hmm. okay, well, Bitcoin, Bitcoin's a great project and it ran out of space. And now Hex is going to try to, uh, you know, take up, take up yeah, the but second I, I don't layer, know that Bitcoin is you know? a great project. It was designed to be a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, replacement for cash. And it is 100% failed to do that. Because it's- It has instead too... become a store value, which is more valuable. Yay. That's great. But something should do peer-to-peer -peer cash. Something should do time deposits, okay. which Hex does. Something should do other shit, which is what Ethereum and EVM chains do. You want to do like NFTs? So, so you're going to so use if you, if, yeah, if I mean, if you want to start with a more logical uh, explanation for Hex, you could say Hex may be scaling Bitcoin. Like that could no, be what Ethereum is. That could be maybe what uh, you know other things are. No, but Bitcoin is just trash. You you don't understand that Bitcoin is just a Ponzi, but you forgot. because Bitcoin's the Ponzi. Before. Bitcoin's the yes. Ponzi? And, yep. Okay. So let me, let me define it for you. Does Bitcoin make, does Bitcoin have any revenue? Is it a productive asset? Is it like a, a crop? Is it like a fruit tree that bears fruit? No. Nope. Bitcoin store value, right? It is, yes. And it does it very well. And it's up 4 million X and it's been as high as 6.5 million X. Right. But that doesn't mean you have to pretend it's other shit too. Who's, yeah, not Bitcoin pretending. is a non-productive asset that you cannot do anything with. If you want to get into a stable coin, you have to beg a centralized exchange to get you into a stable coin. In Ethereum, you don't. We have algorithmic stable coins. We have stable coins directly on Ethereum. You don't need to go through a central limit order book or a middleman to beg them, if I give you my Bitcoin, will you please give me a stable coin? You can't de-risk in Bitcoin. It's fucked. If you want anonymity in Bitcoin, oh God, I sure hope my Wasabi wallet, my Samurai wallet are doing this fucking ring signature mixing, right? Because if the other parties that are supposed to not be me are actually all the same guy that I'm de-anonymized, whoopsie, I hope that works. Fuck that. That's garbage compared to ZK Sync. Everything, everything else exists in a Bitcoin world. The only reason why Ethereum and Hex, so all these projects are successful at MySpace. all is because AOL, Ethereum is AOL. Yep. Ethereum is AOL. Bitcoin's MySpace. Bitcoin's the internet. Yep. Ethereum's Bitcoin's AOL. MySpace. What do you, see, Bitcoiners say the stupid shit doesn't make any sense. Tell me something that you've ever programmed on top of Bitcoin. Um, you ever set an alarm clock on it? Have you wake you up at 9 a.m.? No, you can't because you can't program shit on it because it fucking sucks. People that tried to program it got shut down, like Counterparty, XCP, burnt 2,000 BTC to found their coin. Dun, 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 failure, right. over. Bitcoin, Bitcoin How about is a, Omni Protocol? Well, Bitcoin's over. not, yeah, Bitcoin is not made to, to as, a, as a platform to build stuff You're right, on top. you're right. Yeah, I agree Bitcoin with you is its own so why the fuck did you just say it was the internet? I agree with you now, but I don't agree with you 10 seconds ago. Why did you just change your song? You just said Bitcoin was the internet, as but you can't in, build anything on it. The internet to AOL as Bitcoin is to Ethereum. Oh, you're, uh, yeah. Okay. That's what I was trying to say. Anyway. Uh, okay. I'll clear up. He was trying to say that AOL was a centralized silo where you were restricted. Everyone got excited about AOL. Everyone, everyone thought AOL so, is the shit. So what he means really? is the World Wide Web. So the World Wide Web allowed people to communicate across their silos. So he's trying to say that not that you can build on Bitcoin, but that Bitcoin is less siloed. Listen, Richard, I'm not. Yeah, let's 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 end on, on, on a positive note. OK, right. I'm so just saying I'm a bazillionaire genius in Mensa, okay. have a huge cock, have Good. a lot more followers Good. than you, have just, a better project. You know, than you. if you just working Ethereum, know more about everything than you. And you're right. Least, so then why do you right? why do you have to just keep pushing price and, and, and all that? You know, because to, believe it or not, in speculative about. instruments, price is the only thing anyone cares about. I know this may shock you, but people yeah, buy Coca-Cola stock not because they're sugary drink enthusiasts. It looks like the price is money. It looks like the price is manipulated. That's what I'm saying. Do you think people should buy the S&P 500? Um, I don't know. 
I think they should. I think it's a nice, reliable, good asset. Okay. But I'm not going to pretend that I know 10 of the 500 companies in it. But a guy like you would. You would pretend that you fucking love the S&P for five, its fundamentals. You're not buying it just because the number goes no, up. But you, just but you won't even be able to name off. any of the things in it. People buy things because they want to make money. That is not unwholesome. That is good. That is honorable. That's a good thing. That sees better things get funded, like Hex. By the way, you know what I saw today that was really cool? Some guy swapped 10 Bitcoin into Ren BTC trustlessly, federated trustlessly, not totally trustlessly, but better. And he turned it into Hex. So 10 Bitcoin got turned into Hex through the thickest order books in the world, all decentralized. No central limit. Okay. I love to see people do that. How to get turned into hex on Uniswap? Well, there's this project called Ren Project yes. that's federated. People run mm -hmm. their little VM machines all over the world. You send Bitcoin in and they mint Ren Bitcoin. Yep. And then you can turn that Ren Bitcoin and ERC20 into whatever the fuck you want on whatever market you want on Ethereum. Oneinch.io is an order aggregator that spreads it across all the order books. Matcha.xyz is an order aggregator that spreads it across all the order books. So if you're a big guy and you want good order execution and you want to make like 10 or $20,000 free money by getting less slippage, you use Oneinch.xyz, I'm sorry, Oneinch.io or Matcha.xyz. And then you could turn your Bitcoin with bridge.rentproject.io into Hacks or into Ethereum or any, into any ERC-21 into a stable coin to de-risk. That's good decentralized finance. Mm -hmm. That's so, good innovation. Right. So you, you've been watching Marcus for a long time. So you're saying the hex, the hex, the hex movement is looks natural. To I don't you. even know who Marcus looks normal is. To you. Huh? Who's Marcus? Markets. You've been watching Marcus. Oh, Marcus. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And and you're saying the hex movement, the hex movement is totally natural, right? I think I think it used to be way weirder than it is now. It used to look like nothing I've ever seen before. It was totally insane. Right. Because it was one of the first coins to ever trade primarily on an automated market. So I'll tell you what I do. This is what I do. I, I, mm -hmm. I've been studying markets since I was 12 years old. So mm -hmm. what I do is I look at the markets to tell me the story. And that's how mm -hmm. I figured out that Mt. Gox was about to go under. By looking at cool. the spread between Mt. Gox and Bitstamp. And I sure. realized that why is the spread so high is because the only because people Willie buying, buying it up. Because he the doesn't people want to buy people coins the only he doesn't way out have. of Mt. Gox is through Bitcoin. So you're willing to pay as much, yep. as much Bitcoin to get out of Mt. Gox. I use that. Mm -hmm. I use price. I use markets to figure out truth. And from what I see from Great. the hex price and markets, it seems like there's something. I'm going to give you some there. tools that you didn't That's have before. What that will help I'm you saying. do your job okay. better as a market guy. Hex has tools for traders that no other coin has ever had before in the history of coins. Hex is the first coin in the world that has a chart of future market supply because we have a chart of expiring stakes. No exactly. other coin in the world has ever had that. Okay. which means that you can get reduced volatility by people that start their stakes, slotting their end stakes in notches where other people aren't ending, reducing sell pressure. Furthermore, you can look at the past behavior of a participant and see when this guy ends his stake, does he usually restake? Does he add? Does he stake for longer? Or does he fucking market dump? And what so you have timing analysis. What percentage analysis. of hex is staked right now? 10%. And, and you want to know 90% is float is, is, is float yep. right now. Yeah. Now half of the hex coins are owned by an origin address or used to be, and they were sent to other addresses. Those addresses used to stake for a really long time. Here's the problem with that. It was reducing the APY for other users and it was reducing the market cap because when hex gets staked, it gets burnt. That reduces the market cap and it reduces the payout for all the other participants. You know, so the, percentage, for some reason, the percentage of real float that gets traded every day. Oh, uh, I mean, I think we do 24 million across Uniswap V2 and V3. And I don't consider the central order book volume to be as meritous. So I only quote the shit you can verify. And a central limit order book, you don't know whether it's just some one guy buying and selling exactly. over and over again. But on a exactly. fucking deck, you can exactly. see exactly that's, did so, it. so, you know, I mean, so that's how you can manipulate Uniswap, at least version two, because I haven't looked at version three yet, by having a off... A, a illiquid central limit order book that somehow that Oracle price gets pushed into the Uniswap. Anyway. Have you ever heard the phrase, the tail wagging the dog? Yes. In my expert opinion, the central limit order book prices that are very thin order books compared to the real order book, the real order book sets the price. I'll explain to you the mechanics of why that works that way. If you have a thick order book and a thin order book and the thin order book has a wrong price, 
you would try and say, oh, the thin order book is manipulated. The price is high. Fine. You think that you think the thin ones manipulated the price is high? Fine. What that does is it creates a situation where anyone in the world that has an account on both systems can sell the high price and buy the cheap price. And so all fucked up disassociated right. order books do is enrich arbitragers. Exactly. That's all they do. Right. And they were, there will never be a sustained period of price differential in a free market because right. you'll just be enriching the ARB guy until he can't ARB it anymore. Right. And that's, that's at least in white so paper. So your theory that you can manipulate the hex price by pushing up a thin order book on some fucking exchange, it doesn't if, make any sense. If everyone is using that to base their Uniswap price. No one is using that. No one is using that. Mm -hmm. I don't advertise it. There's very few people that use it. Everyone uses Uniswap, but it's just this paradigm is so new to you that your brain doesn't get it. All of the volume that matters. Hey, the reason is on why, Uniswap. if you look at the the reason why Uniswap was designed the way it was, because you can't do continuous limit order books on Ethereum for various Dude, reasons. You can't do. You previously couldn't do any kind of thing on Ethereum because the latency was so shit. I mean, Dexes had existed on Ethereum like IDEX for a year or two and had no volume. And then Uniswap made everything better. And I can tell you why that is. It's actually about finding, it's about order matching. The reason that order books on Ethereum sucked is because you would need to run a bot to, to set your prices to a real central limit order book. Maybe this I'm, is why you're stuck. That's literally what I'm saying about I know that. And this is Uniswap. why you're stuck. Yes, because in the old days, the volume used to be on the real exchange. And then this shitty decks would come along with no volume. And then to pretend to be relevant and to yes. try and convince people to set limit orders there, they would have to try and maintain a sane price. Yes. And so people would individually have to run bots exactly. in order to get the price to be similar to the central limit. So they exactly. didn't get fucked selling way lower or exactly. buying way higher. Yeah. Exactly. But all that got solved by AMM. The reason it got solved by AMM is because you don't have people trading versus each other anymore. You have a market maker a liquidity provider making it so that whenever you want to trade, there's always liquidity there. And at a constant moving price, there's no gaps. And the movement on this is V2 I'm talking about, it was totally symmetrical. You had as much buy pressure as you had sell pressure. And that was the innovation. There would always be someone willing to trade with you. No one would have to run a bot to maintain price. The reason that automated market makers are successful is because they solved that no one has to run bots. It's its own Oracle. It doesn't need to act it doesn't need to read anybody else's shit. It doesn't care. It's its own Oracle because it can move its own prices because of the constant product X times Y equals K system. So now they change that with V3 because it's more capital efficient. The problem with always having the ability to trade at any price is that all the money way out of the money on the bid and all the money, all the coins way out of the money on the ask, they're not being used to give people better deals on trades. They're just sitting there unused. It's capital inefficient. So with Uniswap V3, you can compress the range at which you're providing liquidity and amplify the amount of money that you're going to make because you're a larger percentage of the liquidity at that, at that level. And then you can get the same amount of profit with a lot less money by concentrating the liquidity in a certain level. Now, there's a downside to that too, which is if the price moves past that level, those fuckers are going to start getting bad deals because there's no liquidity left there. And people might have to rebuy higher. So I've, I've taught you a lot of stuff in this. Like yeah, you learned so about V3 yeah. having limit orders. You learned about the convenience actually, of always interacting. Is there interacting actual with, price? Do you actually put a price into? Yes. Uniswap I can do it with you. right. Why don't I just show you live? I can just show you how to do it real quick. Just go to app.uniswap.org. This is a really useful tool, man. Because instead, like you can set limit orders on matcha.xyz, but they make arbitrage bots rich because... The price on Uniswap, the price on Uniswap or other automated mark makers is going to have to move far enough away from your price in the order in the limit book that an arbitrage bot makes money selling that and buying yours. Okay, so I'm looking at the but version. If you do two, it on this, you don't make an arbitrage. I'm looking at the version two white paper. Sure. And it says we don't need price. Oracles. Why the fuck are you reading a white paper when I can take you to show you how to do it live? We don't need oracles because arbitragers, because the arbitragers, if the if the price is off, the arbitragers will trade Uniswap to make the price correct, which means that. It itself doesn't have price discovery. It relies on external price. Four things that already have larger markets outside Uniswap. That is correct. Four things whose largest right. market is Uniswap. That is incorrect. Okay. I, I, the largest I, order book wins, period. But you because you it. run it. Yeah. The reason the largest order book wins always is because you run out of energy in the thin order book to try and arb the other one the other direction. The tail cannot wag the dog. The I thickest get it. order if book they were always both wins. Equal, if they're both order books were equal, true. But I don't think Uniswap is a real order book. So, 
bro, it's the thickest order books in all of cryptocurrency. You have to update your worldview. Those days are gone. They're literally expired. Uniswap does more volume than Coinbase on three of its fucking ETH USDC pairs. So does it V2, V3, and some other fucking one. I know, I, I, know I know it does volume, but it doesn't mean it creates price. That's that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Dude, you understand price is just the the amount of units that one person traded for another person's units. Right. And price they're just two people trading. Price discovery. Two people can trade on a fucking notebook. I know. They can trade on they playing could. dice. They can fucking. Right. But, uh, but when, when you have all the, all the liquidity coming together at one spot with a, with, a, with a limit order book, you create what's called price discovery, which is an equilibrium of the market finding price. Yeah. That's not what price discovery means. Price, dis- price discovery is just the iterative process of people doing the same stupid thing of buying and selling over and over again. Right. Until the volatility has reduced, where you arbitrarily decide that, oh, in this rainbow of gradient and this gray to black, this is where I say the price has been discovered. But in fact, there is no actual end point for price discovery. It's, it's continuous. It's continuous. Function. Yes. We know that. So yes. why don't I just show you how to set a limit order on Unity 3, bro? Go ahead. And then you can actually make money out of this call. So <laughs> go to app.uniswap.org. This is the future, man. Like, this is where all the volume is, this is where all the liquidity is. If it was the future, okay, so if it was the future, you wouldn't have flashbots and MEV, right? I mean, it's, it's basically, it's, well, it's Wall Street 2.0. Flashbots solves MEV. You just named two things that are opposites of each other. Flashbots solves MEV? Flashbots? Yes. Okay. All right, I'll explain it to you. So MEV, I, I, I you miner know. extracted, yeah. you don't know. Let me teach you. It'll take two minutes. MEV is miner extracted value. The miners go, oh, look, this guy wants to buy at this price. This guy wants to sell at this price. We can front run their trade or order their trades differently so that we can inject our own trade to make money. And then other people went, oh, well, shit, we can do that. And we'll just pay you extra and bid up the price for gas. And that's what they would do. They just keep bidding up the gas price higher and higher to bribe the miners to let them front run and sandwich other people's orders and automated market makers. Oh, some guy wants to buy? We'll buy before him. We'll sell right after him. Exactly. He'll get a shittier price and we'll steal his That's money. why, right. That's why limit order books don't work, right? On, on, on Anything that has latency has this problem. It doesn't matter whether it's a clock ordered, or It's network. order dependency that that's the problem. In, in, I, I understand order the, dependency. I'm familiar with transaction ordering as a computer science problem. So the solution is flash bots. Flash bots is the opposite of MEV. Flash bots allows you to secretly place your trade without making it public so that you can't get sandwiched. And then you bribe the miner with a bid. And the miner doesn't know what's actually in your sealed transaction block. It just knows whether it's going to accept your bid or not. And it accepts the bids based on the efficiency of how much ETH it can get per uh, transaction size in, in kilobytes. I get it. So Flashbots is the solution to miner extracted so, value. Right. But if, let's just say the miner himself is the one that's that's running the bot. So and they usually are. Sure. Bribe. Yes. So he doesn't yeah. need to bribe anyone. So, right. So No, but he still gets paid by other people. Like he has his own gig and then he gets paid by other people as well. So if Flashbots solves MEV. It's the literal solution to MEV because people can't front run you when they don't know what you're doing because it's in a sealed bid. You don't, you don't, you have no idea what Flashbots is. You should research it. It's really cool because it solves MEV. There's other ways to solve MEV that I know that you don't know that I could teach you right now. Archer Swap. Archer Swap is an automated market maker like Uniswap that uses Flashbots so that people can't sandwich you and front run you and fuck you. And you know who used Archer Swap when he needed to dump some coins? Vitalik. So I'm here teaching you shit you don't know that you can profit from. Yeah. So, and I, yeah. I would appreciate it if you would respect me for that. Because all you've ever shown me is fucking hate Would you, like, would you, like, me to teach, no would you like me to teach you how to solve MEV? Would you like me to teach you? Or are you, are you even like... There's a bunch of different Are you even humble it. enough to even listen? I already looked you at your already GitHub, dog, and I already read your a fucking GitHub? little no, you intro. Didn't. I okay, already you went to your GitHub, fucking little didn't... intro on your GitHub that you linked to off of your fucking profile in your Twitter. I don't okay. need you to show me your decks. I get it. I read it. Because unlike you, I actually do my work? research. How does it work? It's another Dex. I don't, I'm not giving you the opportunity to shill. You called me a piece of shit. You shill. called me fraudulent. You called shill. me my price. And what, am I what am I shilling? What am I shilling? Listen, I asked you if you wanted you to teach were the, you. Asked, you were asked if you wanted so to teach you how to solve That I gave MVP. a guy with 1,700 views an opportunity oh, to talk. Dude, I don't give a fuck about views, man. Shut the fuck up. Please, views. Come on. So, kidding me. 
so can we predict the future real quick? Yes. One year. When are the now. hexagons going to be harmed? Because right now they're just living the fucking dream, buying Rolexes and yachts. And I don't know. I think it's going to be a slow burn. It's a it's a, a long, slow burn. It's a long. Yeah, it's a long. It's a so long. So like what other like what other coin like is there a coin that's done the slow burn thing before? So I can no no no. You're a pretty know. smart guy, dude. I'm not saying you're not. I know you are. Uh, it's no, I just want to know. I want to know when you'll know when you're wrong. I want you. Well, to what know I thought we have a year from now. Bitcoin's not going to be at ten thousand, right? That's that's easy, right? I'm pretty sure we covered more ground than just that. Sure, that's a good one. Okay, I mean, do you have anything else? But by the way, this is me taking risk, making a statement about the future. This is not you taking risk. This is you being cowardly. Why don't you make some statements about the future so that when you're wrong, you can feel bad? So the problem is it's hard for me. It's hard to make a statement about the future price of Hex because I believe it's manipulated. That's my problem. So um, you understand that you can see every single account I actually you, bought the price up. I know you could see it on, on Uniswap, right? So if, it, it, listen, if Hex was trading on Bitstamp or Coinbase, right, with, with liquid books. Call them and get them to list it. Then, then right. So, so why this is, when I launch an exchange, when I launch an exchange, yeah. will you consider that acceptable? Like, will the volume on that central limit order book be okay? Well, that'll probably be manipulated too. Yeah. Well, that's it's I just mean, like you're just like a guy that says the earth is flat and you show him an airplane and you're like, look, it's round, we can see it. And then you're like, nah, nah, it's fake. I, you can see who's buying you, up the heck. I understand, price. I, I understand the sophistication of the project, right? And I understand that it's not easy for me to prove anything about hex, so I'm not going to try. All I'm saying is that I don't believe that, um, I don't believe that the price of hex is reflected is when you say the word price it means what other people think it means and it gets them to buy when really hex is designed for low for low uh, float and for the price to go up and all the volumes yes. on on uniswap so you know yeah yeah that's awesome we've removed middlemen we removed counterparty risk we removed slippage we were like we removed spoofing this shit's all awesome. I don't understand how a guy that's in cryptocurrency that's been in it for apparently a long time doesn't see the amazing innovation here. You well, understand that like decentralized exchanges are better than centralized exchanges, right? I just I disagree. So I don't think flash spots. I don't think flash dollars. I don't think exactly. So here's the problem. So DEXs solve for there's two utilities of exchanges: price discovery and settlement. Right. So. DEXs have been solving the settlement part, this decentralized settlement, so you don't have centralized risk, but they haven't solved price discovery, is my I, thesis. So you could That would be accurate for things that weren't primarily traded on the DEX. Like Ethereum. Ethereum is primarily traded on DEXs. It's the order book, the thickest order book in the world, with no fake scam volume, with nobody getting free... There are mar when you go to exchanges, they have uh, certain users that don't pay money and fees, yes, and I they can that. shit up the volume I all the that. fuck they want. I know that's the problem. Just... So guess what? I've solved the problem of centralized and decentralized exchanges. That's what I'm working on, <laughs> right? You would be much better at working at whatever you're working on if you didn't try and step to the king of shit talk. The best project ever exists, bro. You Please. should love Hex, not hate it. It's amazing. Seriously, it just maybe change your marketing. You know. I mean, the price is just... Just go to a different page. Just, if you go to hex.com slash tech specs, there's no price it's weak sauce. It's just weak sauce with the price with 11,000%. It really is. I mean... Go 11,000%. It's up 170,000%. It doesn't matter. 170,000%. 170,000%. Yes. I get it. Right. And you're going to feel bad when it's up a million percent. I, I have Bitcoin. I'm fine. <laughs> what, what didn't Bitcoin lose to this year? Ethereum beat it by 3x. Doge beat it by like 30 million X. Yeah. What okay. didn't beat Bitcoin this year? EOS. EOS didn't beat Bitcoin this year. But everything well, else did. Absolutely everything else went more than up yeah, the my, I, I, yeah, I count my PL in Bitcoin. Yeah. So you're right. I could have gotten more Bitcoin if I wanted to take the risk. That's by true. buying almost anything. Almost anything. Yeah. I mean, fuck. I, I, it's hard for me to find something that didn't outperform Bitcoin. EOS is the only thing I can think of, or the uh, the rug pull access okay, uh, scam shit. Let's I see, guess. XR, at one point, what's uh, XRP what? outperformed Bitcoin even after being sued by the SEC? The SEC shut their trading down; it still beat Bitcoin. From when? I got the from... charts. I post these charts okay, all the time. So, I mean, ETH is down what sixty percent from all time highs against Bitcoin. Nope. From against Bitcoin, from, what's the... 
Is it down? Let's go is it look down? Up the Bitcoin pair. What's it down? All time highs. I'm gonna go Bitcoin. look. Six sixty percent. No, I I'm pulling up my chart, bro. I mean, give trading. me a moment. It will take me twenty more at, seconds. It's trading maximum. at point six. The high was point one two. It's down fifty percent from all time highs against Bitcoin. Yeah, what's Bitcoin down from its all time high? Yeah, sixty percent. More than fifty percent. This is, this is a <laughs> well, okay. It's at forty. It's at forty. This is right? against Bitcoin. That's against the USD, right? This is against Bitcoin. You understand that your house that you buy, you paid fucking fiat for, right? Right. Yeah. But you you have a mental disorder which makes you think that Bitcoin's worth more than the things you actually used to pay for stuff. Because that is- mental disorder serves you well in a bull market. Being a I measure my portfolio in Bitcoin, Bitcoin is perfect in a bull market. And then as soon as the bear market comes, you lose all your fucking money because you get more and more Bitcoin and yet you're getting broker and broker. As long as you don't have, as long as you don't have leverage, Bitcoin keeps, one of the best strategies you tell the noobs, best strategy you can do is buy Bitcoin at all time highs. You've been killing it. Okay. Yeah. Or or why not just buy the fucking 85% dip that comes every four years? It's hard to, it's hard to catch the bottom. And most people, it's easy to, it's easy to catch the all time high. It's hard to catch the bottom for regular Mm, people. Well, I already caught the top and brag about it on Twitter because I posted the chart. I'm like, oh, look, it fell out of the parabola. Coinbase just started listing it. Here's the green line going up. Here's the red line going down. And then <laughs> puke. It just started falling right out the bottom of the curve. Like, it was easy. I posted it on fucking uh, the Baron, the Bollinger Bands guy, John Bollinger. I'm like, hey, yeah, look, yeah. fell out of the parabola, bro. Time to do 85% dump. Yeah, I get it. So my mm-hmm. prediction on why Bitcoin is going to 10K is because an 85% dump from 65K is 97.50. I think the bottom's in the 30,000 stocks. Yeah. I, I bet you, you'll find out that's not true. How about that? We can make, you want to make a bet 50 before 30? We could do that. Yeah, sure. How much you want to bet? Uh, uh, let's see. Um, I don't know. A Bitcoin? Go. No. Not and 50, I mean, I was hoping for a bounce to 50. But it's so shit that I don't even think we get it. I hope we get it. I pray we get it, but I don't think we'll get it. I mean, we've been down here for negative 45% for how long now? Oh, by the way, I this? got your... Uh, I'll mm-hmm. give you a hex. How about this? If it, go, if it hits, if it drip, breaks, breaks 30 below 50, I'll buy some hex. How about that? I don't want you to buy hex. I want you to have regret the rest of your life. I want I you to regret, dude, regret having regret. How could I regret? I was the, I, how could I regret? I got Bitcoin at a dollar. How could I ever? I'm talking about hex. I don't ever want you to buy hex. I want it. I want the chart to mean pain for you for the rest of your life. That's the thing. You love that because the price. Yeah. yeah. Right now, uh, Ethereum love versus all time Bitcoin is down sixty percent, and B- Bitcoin itself is. But that's an extra six, whatever now, whatever, you know, Bitcoin USD is on top of the 60% drop of ETH BTC, right? So Bitcoin's down 36% from its all time high right now. And it's actually up today. That's good. It's up 40. Yeah, it's breaking. We're at 41 now. Keep going, buddy. It's breaking out. Go, go, go. Go retest that right shoulder. Yeah. Anyway, um, I hope, I hope the call was valuable to you, bro. I'm glad that you actually came on instead of, being most people are scared to come on so you get credit for that yeah most people are straight scared i'm not scared man so i give you credit for that yeah listen i'm not scared and hopefully uh you read my paper when it's out and you'll see why um flashbots doesn't solve anything and we'll see where it goes from there you know Uh, i'm not going anywhere you're not going anywhere i'm not touch touch good talking to you man you too man ciao bro Later, later All right, let's check out chat here. I just started streaming and didn't even like change my stream title or anything, so it's probably all like whacked out. Let me check. <laughs> this thing is all wrong. Uh, YouTube, YouTube, Studio. What should I call this? All right, chat. What should I call this stream? I'm still trying to find it. Where's my stream? Am I not live? I gotta be live. I click start and stream. Well, 
If I can't find my stream in a minute, I'll just like end it and upload it because I'm saving it on my end. This is weird. YouTube.com slash Richard Hart. Am I not live? What is going on here? Every time I click start streaming on OBS, it like just actually streams. Is it because I had a, sh I don't understand what's going on. This is really weird. All right, well, since I can't find my own stream, I guess I will just end this one and maybe start a new one or something. Weird. All right, well, I hope everybody enjoyed that. Nothing like slapping around some haters. Talk to you later, guys.